I noticed that your language is, is still it, it, a lot of intrinsic, extrinsic. And, and it seemed to me that the field is moving more towards kind of autonomous versus controlled. Is that something that you're like, how does the, how do the, that fit together? Do you, are you aware of that? Is that something you've paying attention to? Always, always, okay. right? Like, autonomy, <laughs> yeah, I mean, always, right? Within cognitive evaluation theory, there is always that conversation about autonomy versus control. And I think that, you know, I still use the words intrinsic versus extrinsic. I don't think those are, you know, dated words to use. I think that we still use them in schools every day. Mm -hmm. It's also a different feel when you tell students, right, that they do work in an environment of control, right? right. Um, they don't work in an environment with the most autonomy and choice, right? My teachers mm -hmm. certainly don't. So I am careful with my wording in terms of autonomy mm -hmm. and control. Yeah, intrinsic yeah. and extrinsic feels a little a little bit more realistic within the context that they're working in. Right on, right on. Yeah. So so it's it's about using a language that you feel can be received. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.